What is happening in the United Kingdom, whereas the race for the 10 Downing Street continues, Foreign Secretary Liz Truss remains far ahead of her rival Rishi Sunak. Now, in the race to become the next Prime Minister of Britain, this is according to the latest YouGov polls, and Truss has consistently topped the polls of the Conservative Party members. Now, at this point of time as we speak, she is said to have a 32% advantage over Rishi Sunak. The YouGov survey has shown that Truss had 66% of the party members backing her, while Sunak was way behind with just 34% of the party members backing him. Now, according to the polls, only 13% of the members still at this point of time remain undecided in the lead up to the 5th of September deadline, when the next Prime Minister for Britain is of course expected to be announced. Now, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak have vowed to quote unquote fix the Northern Ireland Protocol. That they made this promise during the latest hustings event at Belfast. Well, this is exactly what I have been working on with the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill, because until we sort the issue of the Northern Ireland Protocol out, we are not going to get Stormont back up and running. And I've been dis in discussions with all of the parties in Northern Ireland. I'm determined to make it happen. And as we make progress, on the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill, we will see power sharing re-established in Northern Ireland and as well, the Belfast Good Friday Agreement re-established. I think on this, there's, there's probably not an enormous amount of disagreement between me and Liz on this question. I think all of us want to see institutions back up and running, right? That's the right thing for the people of Northern Ireland. And, you know, when we think about how far we've come, right, 25 years next year, Right, of the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. And for this not to be functioning is sad, right? It's not what any of us wanted. It's not what should be happening. And I think there's so much promise. Now, during the hostings, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak spoke on issues such as the cost of living crisis and also Stormont's collapse. However, the Northern Ireland Protocol was at the top of the agenda and the two contenders also aired their competing policies on tackling the rising energy prices and also the increasing cost of living crisis that people in Britain are confronted with. Now, Sunak said that Truss's tax cutting plans will further stoke inflation. Sunak instead favours targeting targeted support and the latest hustings saw a low turnout of around 170 people. Now, just four more hustings remain following the Northern Ireland event and the last one will take place in London on the 31st of August. All right, so this is what the situation presently looks like at this point of time in, in Britain and it remains to be seen as to how this particular election will of course proceed. But at this point of time as things look, Rishi Sunak is trailing Liz Truss by a pretty big margin. The 5th of September is of course um, the day when, when it is expected that the new leader of the Tory party will be announced and by virtue of being the leader of the Tory party, that person also becomes the Prime Minister of Britain, replacing Boris Johnson. So the YouGov survey at this point of time has indicated that Liz Truss has a very healthy advantage uh, over Rishi Sunak. And to give us more insights in terms of what, of course, is likely to happen in these elections of the Tory party leadership, we're being joined by our correspondent Alex Isaac, who's joining us live from London. Now, Alex, this, this of course, is a race that is clearly looking to favour Liz Truss at this point of time. She's got a very healthy advantage over Rishi Sunak. Is it possible at all that Rishi Sunak will be able to overturn the advantage that Liz Truss has from this period on? Well, Rishi Sunak is possible that he could potentially come into the fore. At the moment, all we have is this idea of polls and that Truss is winning. But she also has been called gutsy and she's a bit radical. I think the issue has been for many of the Conservative members that they still actually really like Boris Johnson. And then, because when Sunak resigned, he put himself out there to say that he was one of those people that, you know, didn't like Johnson. And therefore, he's going against what many of the members actually wanted in the first place. Truss has also been pushing back on a lot of his economic policies, including He's, she's saying she's going to change around the corporation tax, which will benefit a lot of the 1%, which includes many of the Conservative members as well. So at the moment, we're seeing it from an outside perspective, because ultimately it's not for the public to choose who becomes the next Prime Minister, but the Conservative members. And, and as you say, you know, trust, it seems to be at the forefront at the moment.
Absolutely. And also, what seems to have actually worked for Liz Truss, because Liz Truss before, just, just till a few months ago, was not anywhere in the picture for the leadership of the Tory party. But now she's clearly got a nose ahead. Absolutely. It does seem like she keeps on pushing through. And it is that those like gutsy pushes. I think people are looking and seeing that she can actually change the way of her thought process. Her, um, you know, Labour and other rivals suggest that she is flip-flopping on a lot of policies, but it's actually been also working in her favour. She puts out things and then she says, oh, actually, that's not right, because she's listening to the members and she's changing the way her policies are dictated. So she is working with what other people want. She's going out there and she may not come across as an eloquent speaker, as Sunak is, in all of the hustings. And, and she does come across that, you know, she's one of the, one of the people and she thinks that she knows what others want. So she has come and she's been a bit sly in the way that she's been working and the PR is working for her. The PR is definitely working for Liz Truss. And lastly, Alex, before we let you go, this, this is going to be an uphill task for Rishi Sunak from here on. You've been covering the story very closely for us. At this point of time, what is the strategy that Rishi Sunak would want to employ to go reach out to the party members of the Tory party? Because it is not the British public that's actually electing this leader. It is about 160,000 Tory party members who are choosing their next leader, who then becomes the Prime Minister of Britain. So what is Rishi Sunak's strategy to get the Tory party members onto his side? Yeah, that's, it. that's an interesting question. I, I think that ultimately there has been a poll out today that suggests that um, they've already had a lot of the postal votes have already gone back and that trust is actually already she's already won but that's, it's never over until it's over i think Sunak needs to show that his economic policies although they're not super popular actually will benefit the uk the rest of the uk is going to have to be the ones that bring the conservatives back next election so actually it's in the mp's favor to choose someone that the public wants and at the moment it looks like sunak is the one that people are looking to to try and get us out of this tough times that we're facing with cost of living and prices and fuel going up right. so it'll be interesting to see whether or not the members listen to the public absolutely indeed thank you very much indeed alex for joining us and getting us all those insights there Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.